Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Skyrim. This is your host Aaron. Alright, now before we get into the Dragonborn DLC, this is before I leave for my trip still. I needed one more thing before I left because I didn't want to start the DLC until after I got back. So I went ahead and I did a bunch of grinding and uh, as you can see, I got my Conjuration to 100 and easiest way to do that is you just get soul trap and just spam it on something preferably something hostile that will like keep coming at you you can do it on your follow bro they'll eventually get mad and attack you but you just spam soul trap and you get experience for every time you use it you don't actually have to complete it and capture a soul and i did go ahead and throw oh, points down along this path so i get twin soul so i can have two conjuration but the big thing this episode is we are going to do the Conjuration quest here at the Mages College. I have uh, Braylon here with me and I gave her the Dragonbone Mage Armor from uh, the that armor mod I had. Which one was that? Um, immersive Armors. That is the uh, uh, Mage Armor. It's heavy is the only reason why I don't wear it. I don't like heavy armor. It really doesn't look, besides the bone, it doesn't look that heavy, but, oh well. We're gonna do this that quest line. incident in Morthal was just a misunderstanding. Mm. No matter what, but how quickly you've advanced. Well, yeah, I'm already a master level. There are spells yet to be learned. Powerful spells that can more closely and more permanently bind creatures to your will. But okay. There are risks. There are always risks. You must summon and command an unbound Remora. Fun, fun. I will teach you the spell to summon the Dremora, but know that it will only work in a place properly prepared for the event. Of course. Once you that have stuff always Dremora, is difficult. You will order it to deliver to you a sigil stone from an oblivion gate. Once I have the sigil stone, I shall inscribe the spells that you seek. Nice. Because I have no wish to be harmed. <laughs> Summoning an unbound Remora is not like other conjuration spells. It will not simply do your bidding. Of course it won't. Now this has to be difficult. You are in control. So Here basically beat it up. Need. Go to the top of the Hall of Attainment. I have prepared a place for you there. <laughs> like that. But this is to now get the permanent conjuration thralls. Which means that when I summon like the Fire Age Arc or the Ice Age Arc, or I'm gonna get the Storm Age Arc as well, they will be permanent, basically like followers unless they get killed or I banish them. That is what this is all about, and I find that very useful in this game. Basically, the more help, the better. All right, let's go. All right, we are on top of the big wall that surrounds the place and we gotta go find where he set up that area for that spell. I don't think this is the right one. Must be the other side. There it is. Alright, now I gotta Conjuration Summon Unbound Mora. This actually takes two hands, so it will force you to... And... Boom! One second, guys. Sorry about that, guys. Had a short interruption there. You're really gonna do this. Oh wow, she summoned hers as well. And I stab you.
Oh, you ain't going nowhere, buddy. Get back here. Wanna do this again? Then do what I say and I'll let you go. This guy's gonna be difficult about this, isn't he? You are not strong enough to handle me. Oh, in the gut. Yeah, you had to do this, I believe, three or four times before he finally submits to you and does what you say. And summon. <laughs> well, at least through he summons him, that's it. Yes, my summon me again, and I shall have you stolen. Good boy. Let him be gone for a second. And Boom. I'm sure, but I'm not that worried about it. I don't know if I can, like, summon him. Okay, so... I can. I don't know if I can banish him, but on my, main, uh, my other character I played where I did this, he just kind of hung out on the rooftop for the rest of time. All right, let's go back down and find that guy to give him the stone. All right, it took me a minute to figure out where he had ran off to. That is actually a very there short quest if you can kill that Daedra. That incident in Morthal was just a misunderstanding. Mine? Oh, no. The stone is yours. I simply need to borrow it for a moment. Ah. Let's see what there is to see. The people of Skyrim have no appreciation for what we... I have the knowledge I need. And so you may have your stone back. I did and beat also, up a Daedra for it. Please, take this. Huh? You have done well. Flame thrall added. Okay, uh... Spells and incantations see. for those with the talent to cast them. Banish Daedra. Bound balance. Some uh, command Daedra. This lets me actually summon like a Daedra, like what's up there or that we just beat up, and he'll fight for me. Mora Lord. I'm interested. Familiar. Dead Thrall. This is to send things back as well. Here we go. Frost Thrall, that's the permanent version. That's Soul Trap. Uh, Storm Thrall. Daedra. We can summon Daedra are sent back to oblivion. I don't have enough. Can I sell anything? Um, I think I might have sold too many, but yeah, I sold too many. Oh well. 
Powerful summon Daedra creatures are sent back to oblivion. That's basically if you get tired of them being around you, send them back. That's essentially what that is. Um, I don't really need the two Daedras or Dramoras summoning. Alright, so I think that's... Now if you'll excuse me. Let's see, I need those... I need the books. Oh, I should not have learned Flame Thrall. I already had that one. Okay, so I can unfavorite these two. Flame Thrall, Frost Thrall, Storm Thrall. I don't really need that one out, so... Yeah, these are master level. You ha You really want to get the master level at this, you uh, like in the skill tree, because it costs a lot of magic. And storm Thrall. What? How do I not have enough magic? Wow, okay. Wow. So I can't even use these. Okay, so that's irritating. I guess until I've got the uh, enough magic. Spells and incantations for those with the talent to cast them. How much is like the regular storm matronarch? Way too much. Well, that stinks. I can't even use these right now. Enchanting services. Is there anything that'll? <laughs> and those costs are cut in half already. Well, so that's not gonna work. Okay. That's actually really annoying. I didn't realize that they cost so much. Okay, so I guess I'll just go with the normal summoned ones. I still there. I just got the uh, make them fifty percent stronger, so that'll help. That that really stinks, actually. All right, but uh oh, right, right. right. Let me show you something else you can do uh, once you have this stone. Be right back. Alright guys, so I don't know if you remember this, I'm pretty sure I ran into this whenever I was down here before looking for that weird uh, spirit guy. Oh. Parcel. Alright, but uh... This altar right here is connected to like the Oblivion Plains. It's a, con as you can see, conjuration symbol. And how this works is well, the you place the sigil stone here, and you put items inside this offering box. You pull the lever, and it summons something. Now, I cannot remember the recipes, like it's a sort of like a crafting type thing almost, with a bit of randomness to it. On my personal character, I used this, and I managed to get a full set of en enchanted Daedric armor, and it, the recipe that makes the Daedric armor makes a gives it a random uh, enchantment, so you basically save some, uh, use it. And if you don't like it, reload the pass save until you get one you like. And this is actually pretty cool. I can't remember any of the recipes. Uh, you can go to the wiki and find this. The pedestal, the offering, yeah. But it just, I guess probably look up the sigil stone would probably help you find it. 
That, it's actually really cool. I can't, like I said, can't remember the recipe, so I can't help you out with that. But if you are interested in this, I'd say it's pretty cool, especially if you're doing conjuration stuff. Or if you don't, just want a full set of Daedric armor, I'd say, well, you have to get the 100 conjuration to get the stones, uh, and you have to have the stone to get it to do a lot of the stuff. I think there are a few things you can make without the stone, but I don't remember it being all that good. Alright, well, because we have enough time, there's one more thing I'm going to do this episode. So I'm going to get where I need to go for that, and I will be right back, guys. Alright, guys. Sorry about me not exactly it's showing you Don't where the... Where the sigil... Uh, where that altar was down there. It takes a lot of... Uh, it, I had to run around for a little bit to find where that thing was at. It's actually not that difficult. I just went the wrong way. But if you just run around there for a little bit in that specific area, you'll find it quite easily. Now, this is the Shrine of... I almost said Amana. Mara. Amana. Dark Souls. And you can probably guess why I'm here for those that know what goes on. All right, now there's a priest here we need to talk to. Hmm? All right. Uh. Okay, people might be asleep, so hold on one second. There we go. I did a bit of time waiting. How may I help you, my son? Uh. Wonderful. Yes, tell me about the temple. Where to begin? Mara is the goddess of love. The temple spreads her gifts by tending to the sick, the poor, and the lost. <laughs> we also perform wedding Great ceremonies place for, all the for it. In Skyrim. Oh, really? Yes, if you were ready, of course. Are you familiar with how marriage works in Skyrim? Mm, yes, I am. Typically, love and oh, wait, Skyrim wrong is button. as earnest as the people who live here. <laughs> Life is hard and short, so there's little room for long courtship. A person who is looking for a spouse simply wears an amulet of Mara about the neck, showing they are available. Oh, really? When another person shows interest and the two agree to be together, one of them comes to the temple. We arrange a ceremony. You guys can probably guess why I have Braylon with me now. Here you are. Now, remember, people in Skyrim respond to deep good luck. Mara bless you. Thank you. All right. Yes, we are going to do the marriage event. No one ever responded to who they thought I should marry, and I don't think I can marry Serana. What do you need? I maybe if I turned her human, you could, but as it stands, it wouldn't let me. I kind of tested it. So. I'm right behind you. Wait, what? Let's get going then. Hold on, safety. Still here. Okay, normally she says something about me wearing the amulet. Well, yes. Why wouldn't I be? Are you interested in me? Yeah, you're a mage. You're cool. And you're, you're very intelligent. It's settled then. Brief as life can be in Skyrim, at least we'll have each other. Woo! Blessings of Mara upon you. Why do I have to go out here? Sorry guys, a different quest was activated and I thought I was supposed to go out the side for some reason. You wish to be married? It's good to see love blossoming even during these difficult times. <laughs> Your wedding will be held tomorrow, from dawn until dusk. Don't be late. Don't want to miss your own wedding. That would be bad. May you return to her benevolence and safety. Need something? And so I need to Okay, time skip till tomorrow. Congratulations on your wedding. I'm so happy for both of you. Congratulations on your wedding. I'm so happy for the both of you. Congratulations on your wedding. Oh jeez. I'm so happy for both of you. Blade. Oh, Sajel Blad? The people from the Sajel Blad castle? Here's some random people that have show up. 
All right, let's get this up to going. Whoa. Ah, here's the proud groom now. Let's begin the ceremony. <laughs> we look more ready for war, not wedding. All of creation <laughs> and pledge to watch over us as her children. It is from her love of us that we first learn to love one another. It is from this love that we learn that life lived alone is no life at all. We gather here today under Mara's loving gaze to bear witness to the union of two souls in eternal companionship. May they journey forth together in this life and in the next, in prosperity and poverty and in joy and hardship. Do you agree to be bound together in love, now, forever? I do. Now and forever. Do you agree to be bound together in love, now and forever? <laughs> I love how that's actually an option. I knew it would be, but still. Under the authority of Mara, the divine of love, I declare this couple to be wed. Woo! I present the two of you with these matching rings, blessed by Mara's divine grace. May they protect each of you in your new life together. What's the ring do, I wonder? You know what, that would be so much better if it wasn't restoration. And then everyone leaves? Where'd she go? Did she run out? What the heck happened? We're married. I guess we'll need to decide where we're living, won't we? Oh yeah. You can always stay with me. Okay, uh, this was really annoying. I She disappeared. I couldn't figure out where she went. I went to the Mages College. I came here. Then I came back here. And she was here. Okay. Our new home. I'll see you there. You mean where we already are? Oh, well. Hello, my love. Back from some adventure, I bet. Mm -hmm. Lead the way. Why is she not wearing her mage armor I gave her? I've got your back. What have you got for Take sale? A look. Interesting, she's now a merchant. Oh right, uh they tended okay, right, 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 I forgot. Whenever you marry, they tend to make you like a miniature shop in your house. Gives you a few useful things. Why are you... I'm a mage, not a pawnbroker, you know. Well, currently you're kind of acting like one. Now, I'm going to take... There we go. Now she put that back on. And I will give you the hood back. Give. Alright. Lead on. Alright, well, so well I'd say this is a pretty good episode. We completed the conjuration mission and got ourselves some powerful conjurations that we can't use at the moment. I'll work on that. Then we got married. <laughs> Quite an eventful episode. Yeah, I'm gonna throw this other mask I got on here real quick. Eh. Give, I don't really need that on me. I end up killing a dragon that attacked me while I was in, uh... The college. There we go. Slightly darker color, it even looks cooler. But, eh, it was a pretty eventful episode. This episode, I guess, is going to cut a little short, which I guess is kind of made up for by the last two or so episodes that were quite a bit over time. That was not my intention. It's just the way things kind of worked out. But, yeah, this is a good episode. Next time, we will start the Dragonborn DLC. 
I, uh, that's gonna be, I'm looking forward to that. I've never done the Dragon Board DLC, so this will be interesting. I hope you all enjoyed this episode. It was most. It wasn't any big adventure, but it was some cool smaller stuff in the game. Those two pots right there that my cursor are on. Well, not, those two things on the wall are glitched through each other. That's weird. All right. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Have a good rest of your day. This is Aaron. Signing out. Bye.